Now, the Department of Justice is paying special attention to officers who will be working in Ferguson in the next couple of weeks. We're told police are learning how to deal with their own personal bias to make sure that does not stop good police work. It just lets you really understand who you are. Okay. And like I said, it's, it, it, it's not the things that we think about, it's the things that's subconscious, and we really react on those things, and we, we don't know it. Only on 4, News Force Brittany Noble Jones spoke with officers who say this training is life changing. Well, Sharon, it's called fair and impartial training. I met with two officers. They're actually partners here at Washington University's police department. They both come from different backgrounds, but the message they both learned is clear. Detective Andre Jackson and Sergeant Bob Wayne work together each day, and they're usually not surprised by what they stumble upon. And it's easy to walk up onto a call or just walk up onto a situation and already have a preconceived, okay, this is what this is going to be. But the two tell me they've been taught how to handle their emotions at work. The Department of Justice launched a training course designed to address biases. It's part of a nationwide initiative to strengthen the relationships between police and the people that they serve. This is sometimes are unjust because, hey, because I see a black or brown driving down down the street in a vehicle does not mean a crime is being committed. And that's what officers need to stay away from. They need to let probable cause be the justification for their stops. I'm told the training goes far beyond racial profiling, beyond color, gender, and sexuality. This class teaches police to start with themselves. It just lets you really understand who you are. Okay. And like I said, it's, it, it, it's not the things that we think about, it's the things that's subconscious, and we really react on those things, and we, we don't know it. Right now, officers in Ferguson, St. Louis County, city, and even troopers for the Missouri Highway Patrol are taking the fair and impartial training classes. really wish that it had happened a lot earlier, but I think it's great that they're doing it now. The Department of Justice says they worked with area commanders today. They'll be working with them again tomorrow. We'll follow up and check on their training. Reporting live in Clayton, Brittany Noble Jones, News 4.